this video is going to pick up where I left off on my how to get to gasoline production by selling wool guide. And now I'm going to show you how you can expand your wool production to get more cash. I left my town running for some time, so it generated a good amount of cash, but not as much as I could be making if I improved the town further and scaled up wool production. On the left, you can find the production monitor. If you're playing in the new version of Townstar, which is the Townstar Godot version, you should be able to locate an arrow that you can click uh, that will pull up the production monitor that way. So the production monitor will show you how much of each item you're making per hour, as well as the total amount gathered and the total amount lost. This is an excellent way to figure out your production rates or to see if you're making too much of an item or if it's the item is going to waste. So at any time, you can also click the reset button to refresh the production monitor, which is useful if you have made any changes and need to test out what your new production rate is. According to the production monitor, I am crafting about 121 wool per hour with some quick math. If I'm selling 120 wool per hour, uh, then I'm getting 450,000 cash per hour. But I also have to pay my wages, which when I do the math, it estimates to about 100,000 per hour. So that leaves me with 350,000 cash per hour profit. That sounds nice, but I can do much better with a proper wool production setup. So what I suggest now is that you use all the cash that you're getting from selling wool at this point to clear some space and continue to expand your wool production, which involves building more ponds, sheep pens, meadows, tree farms, and buildings such as lumberjack houses and rancher houses. I already have over 2 million cash saved up, so I, I will be able to work on this quickly. Uh, but of course, uh, you should just be able to work on this part one at a time while you continue to sell wool. Uh, selling more wool after each part that you complete. So most of this video will be sped up, but I will explain some of what I am doing. And you can see that a lot of it is just a repeated process of scaling up production. So let's get started. I'm definitely going to need more builders as I'll be building a lot of buildings such as sheep pens and bonds. So I'm going to have some builders in the bottom left, bottom right corner. I'm going to go to the shop, I'm going to go to industrial and at the top I'll see the builder house. And I'm going to start off with I'll do five builder houses right here. Now I also still have these four builder houses. I eventually will get uh, rid of them because I'll be building stuff over here. But uh, for the time being, I'm going to focus on a part where I'm going to put down some ponds and then I'll be able to put down some sheep pens. So I already have sheep pens running over here. So I I think I want to try to do some sheep pens right in the middle of my map. Oh, so, lumber mill right here. I'm thinking I want to have some kind of pond set up here, similar to what I made right here, but I want it to be more vertical. So maybe three ponds here and then three ponds here. Okay, so I'm going to do three ponds like this. I already have this pond here. I got rid of this marsh and I'm going to build two more ponds like this. And I also want to have three ponds over here. So I'm going to get rid of this tree that's in the way. I'm also going to get rid of this road. So that looks good. Uh, right now, I only have one well as my only source for my builders to collect water. I do want to 
basically have more wells or possibly even wind pumps. Wind pumps would uh, be able to provide water more quickly. And I'm going to build some right here. So I'll go to the farm tab in the shop, scroll all the way down. I have two options, the well or the wind pump. Both are good options. The wind pump is actually faster, but it is more expensive. But the well will work just fine. I may just need to put down more wells than I would have wind pumps. So right here, I can afford to put down four wells. And yeah, four wells will definitely help. So I'm going to leave it at that. At the moment, I continue to make gasoline like I was uh, making on the on the first guide. I don't actually need to craft energy at the moment, so I will be getting rid of, of the warehouse. I'm going to go ahead and sell that warehouse because I do want to put down a road here. So I can make this one straight long road like this. We have a witch shed here, but I want to get rid of this expensive rock. Rocks are expensive to remove. They cost 40,000. So if you don't have that much money to spare right now, you don't have to get rid of it. But eventually, once you have money to spare, you I would get rid of this rock and put down a lumber yard. So I'll go to the shop, go to the farm tab, Right here, lumber yard. Lumber yard is more expensive than a wish shed, but it does store 20 items instead of 10. It's also going to take five wood for my uh, lumber yard to finish building. I want the lumber yard right next to the lumber mill. That way, they'll be able to deposit lumber quicker. Now, for the sake of wool production, I don't need lumber unless I'm going to pave more roads. And paving roads is beneficial because the paved roads, well, the workers actually move faster on the paved roads than they would on the dirt roads. But that that isn't completely necessary for just a wool production build, but it is a helpful perk. So now that I have my lumber yard built, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this woodshed because I have the better version of it. I saw that my wells finished building. So now I have more sources of water. It is going to take a while just to get these ponds to build, but no problem there. I currently have my storehouse here, which is a good spot, but I want it to be in another specific spot because I want it to be more organized. I'm going to put down two more roads like this. And I, um, I do want to put a storehouse here. It's going to be in the shop and the farm tab. Near the middle, you'll see the storehouse. Oh uh, yes, you may be thinking, this is uh, three spaces away. Not that much of a difference. But eventually, I will have meadows in this area, in addition with some tree farms. So I just want my storehouse to be more out of the way, closer to my industrial area right here. Well, there's a lot of buildings here that eventually I'll have to move or get rid of. One of them being the Trade Depot, because the Trade Depot casts dirty. So I can't have any sheep pens or tree farms next to the Trade Depot, or else it would slow them down and it would put them on a red timer. I do want to put my trade depot somewhere else. Uh, right here is a good spot because I already have a lot of dirty here and I don't plan on having any sheep pens or tree farms over here. Yes, we do have some trees right now and they are red timer already, but eventually I'll be getting rid of them. So I'm going to go to the shop, the trade section and put down a trade depot right here. The storehouse is getting built, which is a good thing. And while we're waiting for the ponds, which will take a while, I do want to make some more roads over here 
so I can have more space for buildings and I want to be able to put down more oil pumps for later because I will be using more gas later. At the moment I'm not using it all but later on I will be. And I also want to put down more lumberjacks and more ranch houses because I'll definitely need them once I start scaling the wool production higher. I want to get rid of this worker house. I don't actually need that one. And I don't need this witch shed either because I have the lumber yard over there. So I'm going to put down some roads here. I want to get rid of this marsh and all these trees, even this one, so I can have more space to put down buildings. And yes, it's going to cost a good amount of cash, so you might have to do a couple of wool trades. But it is going to be more organized this way. I'm going to get rid of that road right there because I won't actually need that specific road. And whenever you're placing a lot of roads, the quick buy option at the bottom really comes in handy. It saves you space from having to go back, in the to the, back into the shop every single time. Right here I had one pond finished building. I want to finish building that as soon as possible because that pond will then give two passive water to a nearby pond so it'll actually finish building it quicker. So down here, trade depot is done which is good. Uh, now that I have the trade depot down there, I want to get, get rid of the one up here. I don't need two trade depots. Depending on your situation, how long it takes you to sell your goods uh, to the city, you may need multiple trade depots and that's completely okay. You can just add another one next to the edge that you prefer. But in this case, at the moment, one trade depot will be fine for me. So I want to be able to put down some oil pumps here and some buildings nearby. I am going to get rid of my wind turbine. I don't need energy at the moment. And I'm also going to be getting rid of this road. Another pond that finished building. And I am going to be getting rid of that tree. And I can get rid of this marsh right here. So that right there is going to afford me some space. This spot right here, I'm going to put a lumberjack house. And these three spots are going to be used for oil pumps. And then a couple of spots over here will be used for ranch houses. So I can put down four ranch houses like so. The oil pumps will need three wood and the ranch houses will need one wood. So once these ranch houses are finished building, I could actually get rid of the ranch houses here and the lumberjack here. Because once again, I am going to want to use this space so I can put down sheep pens and tree farms and meadows. So what can I do at the moment? Well, there are some sheep pens that I could go ahead and make right now. Uh, so I definitely know where some sheep pens will go. So I'm going to go to the shop, ranch, and sheep pen. I'm going to want a sheep pen right here next to these, uh, what it's going to be three rivers vertically like this. And I'm also going to have sheep pens right here next to these rivers. I can get rid of this road and I can put down sheep pens like this. I also do want a sheep pen here where I have the pond at the moment, but I don't want to get rid of the pond just yet because it would remove two water from this pond that's being built. So I am going to wait on that. And that pond finished building. So my ponds are almost done. Got some crude oil pumps that finished and one of the ranch houses finished.
So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just let it sit for a while. I'll fast forward and I'll come back when this is all finished. Okay, I'm back. All the buildings are done. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the ponds and finish up all the sheep pens, ranch houses, and this oil pump. Okay, so I do want to get rid of this pond and put a sheep pen there. I can also get rid of this pond right here, I don't need it. So the way I set up these three ponds right here in these two vertical segments, all the sheep pens will have five passive water, so that's great. I'm going to need a lot of meadows, and I want to have the meadows near the sheep pens. Uh, so there, there is a couple of things that I need to get rid of. But I'm going to go ahead and suggest you put down the meadows that you can place down, which would be... In my case, these meadows. And I'm going to get rid of this dirt road and put a meadow here as well. So all these things right here, the trees, the rocks. As soon as you can, I would suggest you get rid of them and put down meadows. Because you're definitely going to need a lot of meadows to feed all these sheep bins. And yes, one thing you will find is that destroying all these trees and rocks is going to take up a lot of money. But it's all part of the part of the game, part of uh, unlocking new territory in your town, uh, new space that you can use. I do have a dirt road there. I'm also going to place down a meadow and. Going to also place down more meadows on this side over here. I can get rid of this marsh based on a meadow. And I'll also get rid of these two trees right here. And more meadows. So right there, got rid of a good amount of stuff, but it did place a lot of meadows right there. I am going to go ahead and rotate my sheep pens. Now, depending on which version of Townstar you are playing, there is an advantage to rotating. In the live version of Townstar, you can actually rotate your sheep pens to face each other, and it would be more beneficial uh, due to a trick called the Ghost Door trick, which makes it to where your sheep and enter and exit the building from any direction. Now in the Townstar Godot version, which is a new version of Townstar, this won't work anymore. So it would be better to rotate your buildings facing towards the meadows. Um, that would be slightly more efficient. Uh, so that way they can enter and exit the building and get to the meadows quicker. So... I'm just going to have the sheep pens face the meadows in my current gameplay. So my ponds right here also allow me to have five passive water across this edge and five passive water in the middle. So I'm going to want to get rid of pretty much all these buildings right here. I'm also going to be getting rid of this woodshed since I already have the lumber yard. I'm going to get rid of that lumberjack and of course these rancher houses and the storehouse. That's why I wanted the storehouse over here because it's not in the way. So as you can see right here, cleared up a lot of space. I'm also going to get rid of this well. It's okay. I built more wells over here. If you really wanted to, you could also build more wells or wind pumps. Oh. So, 
This will allow me to put down some more sheep in. Now I'm not going to do the exact same thing on this side. I'm not going to do at this many sheep pens. I'm going to alternate. Uh, in total, I'll put down four sheep pens like this. And in these other spots, I'm going to go to the shop, farm tab, go somewhere near the bottom and find the tree farm. And I'm going to put down tree farms. Tree farms require five passive water in order to grow. But they do grow trees and uh, allow you to produce wood much quicker than the trees that naturally spawn in the forest or plains biomes. Now, as you can see, this tree has a yellow timer because it has one shade from this building. And this tree has a red timer because it has a total of three shades from these buildings. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and remove these builder houses so they don't cast any shade on my trees. Now the four builders that I do have in this corner, or well, the five builders, they're working on these four sheep ends. If you really want to, you can add more builders. Uh, for the sake of my guide, I am going to go ahead and get rid of a bunch of trees in this corner and add more builders just so I can speed up the process. But of course, it always depends on how much money you have, uh, whether you can afford to spend some money to clear some trees on the corner and put down more builder houses. You could always just put down builder houses somewhere where you already have uh, open space. Definitely do that uh, if you really need to. But just for the sake of keeping this organized, I'm, I'm just putting down my builder house in this corner. And in fact, I'm going to make it 12 Builder Houses because it'll make the process much quicker. There we go. Already have some sheep pens being built. And I'm going to put down more meadows. Because now I have more sheep. So... All these empty spaces I can turn into meadows. Now as you get more money from doing this, from the increased wool production, go ahead and spend some of that money to clear up more trees. If possible, you want to get three rows cleared on either side. Like we pretty much already did on this side. I also want to do that on this side. And I can have three whole rows of meadows. Now some of these meadows you will be replacing with other items. But uh... Assuming you don't have enough cash to go to the next part of what's going to be built, I would say just go ahead and put down meadows. But essentially this is the first main part of the wool expansion. Just using these six pawns, we managed to put down 11 more sheep pens, and we now have four dedicated tree farms and a ton of meadows for the sheep to feast on. Now what most likely happen will happen is you may need more ranchers to be able to pick up the sheep pens, the wolf and the sheep pens, very possible. Because you have 11 sheep pens over here and you still have the five running over here. So if you do need to scale up your rancher houses, uh, just make some roads, find some space to put down rancher houses. But I will be putting down two more rancher houses right here. And if you do need more Lumberjacks, then of course put down more Lumberjacks. But I should still be okay with three Lumberjacks, at least for the moment. Now once you get to this point, you need more money, let it run. I am actually going to go ahead and let it run for a while. I'm going to speed it up. Going to reset my production monitor 
let it run for a while. I'm going to skip forward and see what my projection rate is in this current step right here. So after about a 30 minute test, I was making about 250 wool per hour. So it's actually making twice as much wool than it was originally when I had just finished the fuel setup and I had seven sheep pens going. So it's doing much better now. Uh, I did the math and that's about 800,000 cash per hour in profit after wages. So much, much better already, but we, I can still improve this further. So I'm going to do the next part and I'm going to need to make another six pawns and I'm going to be doing that right here. So very similar to this other, to this setup I had right here. Gonna add six pawns like this. And it is gonna take some time for my builders to work on that. And I wanna clear up this line right here. At the very least, this line. So I'm gonna get rid of these trees. I'm going to get rid of this rock and this tree right here. I can get rid of this dirt road that was here from the previous video. And yeah, so that's all I'm going to get rid of right now. If I get rid of the marsh, it's there's not going to be enough water for this sheep in and I don't want that right now. So I'm building those ponds. I'm also going to be building more sheep pens. Gonna be all sheep pens are on this side, like this, similar to what I had over here. And this side will be about the pretty much the same that I had here. Going to be four sheep pens like this. And I'm also going to have tree farms here and here. Now I'll be able to have a tree farm here and here as well. But I have to wait for the ponds to uh, finish building. Once this part is finished, I am going to be getting rid of the sheep pens over here. So yes, I'm adding six sheep pens, but I'll be getting rid of these four. That way I can have them uh, more organized in this area. And eventually, assuming you have more money after you do all this, you do want to be able to clear up the trees and put down more meadows. If you don't have enough money to clear out all those trees, then just put down meadows wherever you can afford to put down meadows like this and these spots that are already open. But for the time being, I'm just gonna let it run and fast forward it until it's done. Okay, pond is done and all these sheep pens are done. I'm gonna go ahead and build them. And I'm gonna put down some more tree farms, although I don't really need them right now. They will be nice to have. So for the time being, four tree farms. If I notice that I absolutely need more, uh, Wood production, I can put one tree farm here and one tree farm here. But for the time being, this should be just fine. 
So now that I have all these sheep pens over here, uh, I am actually going to rotate them so they're facing the meadows. And after I do this, I'm going to get rid of the four sheep pens that I have over here. These four. I'm going to go ahead and delete them. Okay. And assuming you have enough money, because I definitely have enough money right now, so I'm going to be clearing this entire space and putting down meadows. And it is going to take quite a while, so I'm just going to speed up this part. Okay, replaced all those, all that stuff with meadows right there. So now I have two whole spots for sheep pens. If I wanted to test my rates, I would have to reset this and wait a couple of minutes so I can see what the rate is. I'm sure I'm producing a little more than 250 wool per hour now, maybe close to 300 per hour, but I'm going to continue expanding my wool production. And I'm basically going to make another pond segment like I did right here. I'm going to do another one over here on this side. So I obviously have enough money, but as soon as you continue to save up enough money, uh, you should work on getting rid of all this. And once again, putting up the three ponds and putting up more uh, sheep pens. Well, it's going to be a total of six ponds and then you'll put that put up more sheep pens. I seem to have enough ranch houses. I am somewhat running into an issue with wood. It seems like I actually will need more wood now that I have all these sheep pens. So you could put down more lumberjack houses here. But what I'm going to do is put some more roads down, creating another road system over here. That way I can fit in more lumberjacks. It's going to be more organized this way. Put down some dirt roads. Oh. All right, and I can put some uh, lumberjack houses here. If I wanted to, I could also get rid of these trees and put down even more lumberjack houses. But for the time being, this should be just okay. So, I have more lumberjacks now. And I'm going to go ahead and clear this line right here. So I can put up the ponds that I do need. So starting up here, three ponds vertically, leave a space, and then do three more ponds vertically. Once all these ponds are done, I will be getting rid of these three ponds, but for the time being, I am going to go ahead and just leave them there. And I'll be able to build some of the sheep pens, not all of them. I want to get rid of these two trees. Actually, yes, I will get rid of this pond as well. Uh, these ponds will need more uh, water, but that's just fine. That way I won't have to do it later. And I can just go ahead and have all the seven sheet pens that I want to put down over here. And all I need to do is wait for all these ponds and sheep pens to finish building. Uh, what I am going to have over here on this side is a bunch of tree farms. Uh, but really, I could also have a couple sheep pens. It doesn't have to be all tree farms. It could just do some more sheep pens as well. But uh, just for the sake of this guide, I'm just going to put tree farms over here. And then we'll see. Maybe I am able to put down some more sheep pens. But uh, I'm going to let the builders work on building all this. Once this is all built, I'm also going to get rid of all the trees nearby and put down meadows and tree farms or, sh or sheep pens as I need it. 
and also be getting rid of these two pawns, putting down meadows there. And I should also be able to get rid of the wells and also replace those with meadows. So I will be doing all that. I'm gonna fast forward it. Uh, feel free to skip ahead if you don't want to watch it all. Okay, so all the pawns are built, all the sheep pens are ready. I'm going to get them built. And I'm going to get rid of all this and put down meadows. Which I was going to speed up, but I'll just do it now. So I was watching the wool rate the the production rate for the wool is going up slowly it might not be close to 300 just yet but i'm pretty sure it'll get there after the addition of all these sheep ends i'm going to add more meadows seems that i have more than enough wood right now So what I want to achieve is try to get as much wool as possible, of course. I don't need to put down tree farms unless I absolutely need more wood for the sheep. Uh, each sheep pen needs one wood. So really you want to pay attention to what your wood rate is. And that basically gives you an idea of what the, the maximum amount of wool you can make. So if I'm making 375 wood per hour, the most wool I can make with that amount of wood that I'm getting is 375 per hour. So in order to increase my wool rate further, either I need more sheep pens or I need more meadows. And it's going to take some testing in order to figure out which of those is the case. Because... You also want to look at your feed production rate. So each sheep pen requires eight feed. With the amount of feed that I'm making, I should be able to get close to three, 280, no, about, about 380 wool per hour. Yeah, with the amount of feed I'm making, I believe 200, 280 wool per hour. <laughs> I was trying to do the math in my head, but yes, 280 wool per hour is about what I should be getting based off the feed that I am producing. And yeah, that all depends on the uh, how much, uh, how fast the sheep can also go for the meadows. So all my sheep are being kept busy. Uh, so over here, I could put down tree farms or I could put down sheep pens. For the time being, I'm going to test out just putting down uh, meadows. That way I'll be able to produce more feed for the sheep. Now, after I run a test, I'll pay attention to the production rate. And I can decide if it would be better to have sheep pens here instead of meadows uh, to see if that would improve my wool rate further. I'm also going to get rid of these trees right here. 
And if I need more Lumberjacks, I will place down more Lumberjacks. At the moment, I'm not going to place down more of them because I have no issues with wood. But I am going to go ahead and delete these trees. And I am going to place down some roads right here. I want to make one long straight road horizontally. And I also want a road over here. Uh, get rid of this tree. And put down more roads. There we go. So I have all of this set up. This is all my sheep pens, all my meadows, and a couple tree farms. It seems like I'm doing okay on wood with just those tree farms. This spot right here, I am not really paying attention to this spot. So I still have meadows, ponds, and tree farms and a rock here as well. Not really paying attention to this, just trying to get my wool production up over here. So I am going to go ahead and let this run for a while. And I'm going to skip forward and come back and tell you how much wool per hour this is making. So after about a one hour test, I can see that I'm getting about 410 wool per hour, which is almost four times as much wool as I was making when I originally started uh, the video. And I did the math and this amount of wool minus my wages will get me 1.4 million cash in profit per hour. So now we're raking in over a million cash per hour with this setup. I am getting 510 wood per hour and I am noticing that there are still plenty of meadows that they're not uh, going to and collecting feed from. So I definitely could add a couple more sheep pens and bring up the production rate even further. So what I will be doing now is I'm going to be removing all these marshes and ponds and trees just so I can clear them out of the way. I'll be getting rid of some of the builder houses as well. Um, I don't believe I need any more lumberjacks, but I may possibly need more rancher houses in order to collect the wool faster. So I'm going to be doing all of that. I'll be speeding it up and then I will be skipping forward in time after I have tested it one last time. And after about another 30 minute test, we have 450 wool per hour. So I did the math and after wages, it comes out to about 1.5 million cash in profit per hour. So we went from a 350,000 cash per profit build to a 1.5 million cash per hour profit build. So over four times more cash now, it's way more efficient. It is using just about all the gas it creates to sell wool. And I, I did add two more oil pumps, but they were not necessary. However, one thing that would improve the gas production would be to actually move the fuel storage from this spot to this spot. That way the refinery that's making petroleum is able to get to the fuel storage slightly quicker and it wouldn't interfere with the refinery making gasoline. So you could have moved the fuel storage from here to here. It would have helped with gas production. With the current 450 wool per hour rates 
and roughly 45 petroleum per hour rates. You should be just okay with the setup so long as you're only using one gas per sale. But uh, yeah, one of the things you could have done to improve the gas rate. But I will leave it at that. So way better than we had before, selling way more wool and you'll generate a lot more cash. So that's it for the wool expansion guide. If you found this guide informative and helpful, consider liking the video and leave a comment with any feedback you may have. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I appreciate your support. Thank you for watching.